YouTube channel. My name is Pusari Imolayo and I'm a registered nurse based in Nigeria. If you are new here, please click on the subscribe button to join the YouTube family and also turn on your notifications by clicking on the bell icon so you don't miss any video from us. Today I'm going to be doing a OSCE demonstration on hand washing. Majority of our classes on WhatsApp focus majorly on theory and objective questions and that is not complete because you have theory objective as well as OSCE exams for nursing council examination. So today I'm going to start with the simplest or the basic procedure in nursing science. It's exactly the simplest to me, but it has a lot of tricky steps that students tend to miss out when they are trying to do the demonstration. So today I have a bowl containing water. Usually in your schedule, I'm going to have taps. So I'm going to be like telling you where I'm improvising and where I'm not improvising. I have here soap. This is actually detergent mixed in water. But in exam, you're going to have an antibacterial hand wash. And I have my hand sanitizer here. And of course, a napkin that I took from my mom's kitchen <laughs> to serve as a flannel. So let's get right into the procedure. So there are two ways you could be asked to demonstrate hand washing in OSCE examination. You're either going to be asked to teach someone or just demonstrate it. So if you are asked to teach someone, you're going to start by your preambles. And what I mean by preambles, you greet the person you're teaching, you introduce yourself to the person you're teaching, you tell the person what you're going to teach and what you hope to achieve. So for example, if I'm to teach someone, I'm going to start by saying, good afternoon, I am, okay, I can't stay student nurse now, but I'm going to say right now, I am nurse Busari, and today I want to teach you how to wash your hands. The reason I'm teaching you this is because hand washing is important when it comes to preventing transmission of infection. So I've introduced myself to the person, I've told the person the topic and why I want to teach that particular thing. You get my gist. This part will actually end you mark because it's going to be in your marking guide. But if you're just told to demonstrate hand washing, you know, yeah, then you can just go straight into the procedure. So the first thing you want to do when you're carrying out hand washing procedure is to get your soap and formula that I'm going to demonstrate that shortly. So I hope you guys can see my face very well. Like I said, this is detergent mixed in water. So first thing, you have a soap in your hand, that's step one. Then you form a ladder. You don't just go to wash your hands like that. Oh god. Alright, let me just add more soap so that I can get what I want. So the first thing you're going to do is to oh god, it's messy. You're forming a ladder with your soap. So you can see my hand is really soapy. So the first thing you want to do is to wash the back of your hands. That's one. You wash both. You get the next thing you go into your fingers. I hope you are seeing my hands. That's another step. Then you go to your thumbs. Then go in between your fingers and after that you wash your wrists before you go into the water. I hope you guys got what I said. You must do every part of this. Now, there are actually, I think, about 10 steps when it comes to hand washing. So you talk about formula that with your hand as step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So that's 10. If everything you've done is not up to 10, that means you did not finish your procedure. So I'm going to go again. Formula that has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I hope you get my procedure now. So I'm just going to discard all this. Okay, sorry. After you're done washing your hand, the next thing you're going to do is to get a napkin to clean your hand. Like I said, you're going to have a tap in school that's all your nursing exam in school you're going to have a tap so what you make sure you want uh, what you should make sure that you do or what you would want to do is that you open the tap with your fingers but you close with your elbow i'll repeat that you open the tap with your fingers but you close with your elbow if the rationale behind that is that you've already cleaned your hand so you're not supposed to use a clean hand to turn off the tap that is already dirty or contaminated i hope you get my gist so if there's sanitizer provided on the table in your OSCE exam, you are going to have to use it. Because definitely the sanitizer is not going to be there for play or for show. They're going to expect you to do it. So another mistake students tend to make during OSCE is that they tend to say stuff like, I will, I will wash my hand, I will wash my thumb, I will wash my fingers, I will. No, you're supposed to say, I am washing. It's something you are doing, you are demonstrating it. So you're going to 
keep telling your examiner because your examiner is going to be there and you're going to have to say these things out loud so they can take it in their marking guide so i think that's that about us key but you need to make sure that you clean your table see my table is messy and i'm trying to clean it then normally you're supposed to discard so if you were presented with a bowl like mine not a tap um water now you're supposed to discard the water there's always a mark for discarding because you can't just leave the water there if it were to be on the ward in a normal hospital so that's just a basic demonstration of hand washing either with tap or with bowl water either you're told to demonstrate to someone or you have to demonstrate it to your examiner so i hope you guys got my point if you guys want more videos like this and you have on um, procedures that would, you would want me to demonstrate kindly drop it in the comment section so i can start making videos about that and post it for you guys so don't forget to subscribe share this video with your friends and see you next time bye bye